Welcome to the Recreating You game. This is a live course that we delivered between 2018 and 2020. We've now gone on to do a new program that we love called the Smart Soul Experience. But I wanted to put this out there onto YouTube because we had thousands of people that had extraordinary results and I think it's just an amazing program. So I wanted to give it to you guys for free. So here's the deal. Please bring a friend. This is way more fun to do with someone else. Do the days in order. It's supposed to be done day one through day 12. There's a reason for that. It builds on itself. Have a great time and you're going to have amazing ahas about your inner experience. This will cure, yes, cure stress, anxiety, worry, fear, and overwhelm in your life, as well as giving you direction on the next right thing for you to do in every moment. Have a great time. Enjoy the program. It is day nine and this is a good day. I hope you really enjoyed the, is this any of my business? Like I said, it's people's favorite just clearing stuff away throughout your day, becoming more efficient, things happening that's just, just more amazing, just getting more in tune, more solid, more open inside, releasing things that don't matter, focusing on what does matter, being here to contribute your true purpose. Uh, people come to me and, and they want to know their purpose. What are they here to do? There's no better way to get on your purpose. You're only thoughts and openings away from being on your purpose every single day. You're only thoughts and openings away I mean, literally just a few thoughts away, you find your opening and you're back on your path. You're on your purpose. You're being led. You're contributing to that 100,000 list of purposes that you wanted to accomplish when you got here. What is today? Today we are working on frustration. Frustration. Arr. You know, that feeling inside when you're frustrated. Now, this is what's interesting. Frustration is when you have a situation or thing that you don't believe will or can change a situation or thing. Notice I didn't say person. You can be frustrated with a situation, but not the person. Irritation, which we're going to get to next, is about a person that will not change or that you do not believe can be different. Please do nothing with irritation today for all of you overachievers out there who like to skip ahead. Just work on the play of the day today, right? frustration, what you're frustrated with. It could be a situation where you don't have enough money. It could be a situation where your, your, your business isn't going along fast enough. It could be a situation at work where you're frustrated with a, with a experience you're having with a coworker. You're not frustrated with them, but you're frustrated with them not getting back to you or not answering or not giving you what you need, right? You could be frustrated with a kid. You're not irritated with your kid, but you're frustrated that they're not, that they fight you so hard on their homework every night, right? And it's a situation where you don't believe it can change. You're closed because what you're thinking about the situation is not true. You're closed because what you're thinking is not true or not going to happen. It's always going to be this way. It's never going to change. This is the way it is. This is the situation. So this is the cool thing. You pivot. You pivot your experience in the situation and open and the situation begins to transform itself. It really, really is true. Even with the most difficult people in your life and difficult experiences in your life, that when you change your inner experience, the outer world around you changes. It is actually true. You're going to see this. You're going to see this. I have had people who have transformed and had situations completely change. Really difficult situations, situations with landlords, situations with coworkers, situations with sisters, brothers, where they're frustrated at what's going on, children, and they change it. So here's one for me, okay? This is so wonderful. So I was, I was really frustrated with my husband because he, our trash can's really far out of the way. And so I do a lot of the housework and I clean and I do everything. And I'll, I would ask him to, when he was already on his way out of the house, I would say, can you please take the trash out? And then he would give me this nasty attitude. And yes, I was kind of irritated with him too, but mainly it was the situation. He would give me this nasty attitude and I would be like, what's your problem? And he'd put his stuff down and get the trash and go out and come back in and he'd be all grumpy with me. And so he did this and it was a long time until I realized I was actually closed because it happens to me too. I get hijacked and I, I'm like, shoot, I've been closed about this situation for like nine months. So I'm closed. He's leaving and I'm scrubbing, God dang it, I do so much around here, why can't he help me more? And I realize, oh shoot, I'm frustrated, I'm really frustrated. 
you ever been scrub, over scrubbing your counters with your scrub, scrubby sponge? Anyways, I said, wow, I wonder what, so the situ, I believe a situation can't change or won't be different. What is it? What is it? I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't. Sometimes you need help. So I waited a couple of days and I sat him down and I said, honey, I want to talk to you about this trash situation. And he immediately was like, Arr! and I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not here to lecture. I'm not here to do anything. I just, what is it? Because you're not a bad guy and you help around the house and you don't fling attitude at me very often. What is it that's going on with this trash situation? And he goes, well, I'm all dressed, I'm clean, I'm ready to leave, you know I hate to be late, I've got the time that I need to go and get to do whatever it is I need to do in town, and then you ask me, I have to put my stuff down, I go out, I have the bags are always dirty and sometimes they leak and it's a mess and I'm all clean and I have to go all the way out to the trash can and then I have to come back in because I'm not going to touch the trash can and then come back, not wash my hands, so I have to come back, I wash my hands and then my mom taught me I had to put the bag back in the trash can, I go to do the trash can and my fingers are too fat, I can't get the thing to tie right and I then it's it's too short or it's too long and and um, it, she's like you, you you pick the most inopportune moment in the whole world to ask me to do that why don't you ask me to do that when we're just sitting around in the evenings or when you're and I was just like oh my god I'm being such a jerk I had no idea how frustrated he was with me for asking him to do that I had no idea how difficult I was had been making his life for months and not only that, so I said, okay, honey, well, you, you do that. All I ask is that you get the trash done. Just make it a priority because I hate when it overflows and I'm cooking and stuff and I need to put, throw stuff away or put it in the recycling. Please just make sure it gets done. And as a, as a bonus prize, I will always, as long as you take the bag and put it on top of the trash can, because I really, it really frustrates me and irritates me when I throw something in the container and it's, and there's no bag and I'm just not paying attention. And I have to dig in the trash can to get it out to put it in the bag you know I think you know what I mean anyways so I will always you just leave the bag on top of the trash and I'll always do the finger part <laughs> I, I, my fingers are the perfect size it's I always get it right it changed our whole marriage that conversation because now it's a thing where we love each other more for working that out together but my point is this there are situations in your life that you believe can't change that you don't understand and it's closing you your IGS is telling you it can change your IGS is telling you there's a way that you're thinking about it that's keeping it locked in that way. You may have to ask the person. It may be something that's obvious for you, okay? I don't know, but I promise, even with your kids and homework or whatever, there's something that you can work out. If you're closed and you're frustrated, you're not thinking about it in the right way. And you wanna, this is where you pivot to an opening. Okay, so I'm getting into more of the advanced practices. This is the stuff we really deal with in the Stress to Happiness Makeover. I give you more time, more coaching, and we work on it. But I want you to get a feeling for this because we think that our emotional state of frustration is true, and it's not. Our emotional state around irritation is true, just like we thought procrastination was true, showing you that you don't have to close about anything. You can change. So here's the thing, you don't have, there's, there's an opening, there's a way through everything that that's happening in our world. And by you learning to do this, you can transmute it, you can change it, even big things like our politics eventually, even big things like the things that cause us pain and, and, and frustration in our world that's bigger than just our little world, our little cosmos. What I want you to do is I want you to write out the situation that you're frustrated with the situation that's closing you, really look at it and then read back through it and say, what am I missing? How could this be different? You can use your IGS, can this be different? Opening, is it that they need more time? Open, closed or neutral, is it, what is it? Use your IGS, kind of noodle, you're a brilliant, creative person. And if you need to ask, what's gonna work for you? What's happening here? Getting into opening conversations, coming at it from a beautiful heart space of like, I wanna work this out, what's going on? So I'm sending you love and blessings. I hope you have an amazing day today. All right, and uh, I just, just love you. Sending you love and blessings. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you so much for doing the Recreating You game. I hope you're having extraordinary ahas already. People have from day one, and so no matter where you are in the game, there's amazing things that you're learning about yourself and the power that lies within you. If you would like to have your questions answered, please put them in the comments below. We do our best to get back to comments, or so does our, our members <laughs> and our students. They love to go ahead and, and support people in learning to use their IGS. You are welcome to email us at support at smartsoul.com to get more 
deep into the programs, or you can go to smartsoulacademy.com if you already know you want to jump in and learn how to master this extraordinary thing that you were born with, your internal guidance system. There you'll find 16 programs that lead you through all areas of your life and weekly group coaching with me so that we can work on your specific issues and supporting you and getting aligned with your purpose, your prosperity, and peace. That's smartsoulacademy.com and it's all available to you for $25 a month. I know, amazing. You can afford this less than Starbucks each week. Come check it out. smartsoulacademy.com.